Tonight, the image is still coming in after that strong earthquake hit Southern California. Encinas, California, following a deadly cliff collapse. California coast on high alert. Massive wave slams cliffside. Scientists warn of escalating coastal instability. California coast. The Pacific Ocean did not arrive quietly. A towering wave surged toward California's rugged shoreline, striking a vulnerable cliffside with explosive force. The impact sent shockwaves through fractured rock layers, spraying seawater and debris high into the air while the ground above trembled. Within minutes, cracks began appearing along the coastal roadway that hugs the cliff's edge, a chilling sign that the land itself may be beginning to give way. For scientists, this was not just a dramatic coastal event. It was a warning, a wave that hit more than just rock. The wave, driven by powerful offshore storms and unstable atmospheric conditions, collided directly with the base of an already weakened cliff. Years of erosion had hollowed out the rock beneath carving hidden voids that left the upper layers dangerously unsupported. When the wave struck, it acted like a hammer against brittle stone accelerating fractures that had been forming silently for years. Eyewitnesses described a deep, thunderous sound as the wave slammed into the cliff, followed by smaller rock falls cascading into the sea. Moments later, hairline cracks appeared on the asphalt above, spreading slowly but unmistakably across the road surface. Emergency crews quickly restricted access to the area, fearing a partial or total cliff collapse. Cracked roads, shifting ground. Geologists examining the site confirmed that the cracks are not superficial. They reflect ground movement likely caused by a combination of wave undercutting, water saturation, and internal stress within the cliff. Recent rainfall has soaked the soil layers, increasing weight and reducing friction conditions known to trigger landslides. These cliffs are no longer stable blocks of rock, one coastal scientist warned. They are moving systems. Sensors installed along parts of California's coastline have already detected subtle seaward motion in similar cliff zones movements measured not in meters, but in millimeters per year. Yet, history shows that such slow motion can suddenly accelerate into catastrophic failure. Tsunami fears why science is watching closely. Although the wave itself was not a tsunami, Scientists stress that events like this raise serious red flags. California sits along an active tectonic margin. Offshore faults, submarine landslides, and sudden cliff collapses are all capable of generating localized tsunami waves. A large volume of rock plunging into the ocean can displace massive amounts of water, enough to send dangerous waves racing toward nearby beaches with little warning. The cracked roadways, unstable slopes, and freshly exposed rock layers are now being studied for signs of imminent failure. If another major wave strikes or if seismic shaking occurs, the risk could increase dramatically. Tsunamis don't always come from distant earthquakes, experts explain. They can begin right here, at the coastline. Unstable weather makes it worse. Meteorologists point to increasingly unstable weather patterns along the Pacific coast. Stronger storms, longer wave periods, and shifting wind systems are delivering more energy to the shoreline than in past decades. These powerful waves strike higher up the cliffs, reaching zones that were once rarely touched by the sea. 
Each impact removes more material. Each storm weakens the structure further. The result is a dangerous feedback loop. Erosion leads to instability, instability leads to collapse, and collapse can trigger secondary hazards including tsunami-like waves and sudden coastal flooding. A coast under pressure. California's iconic cliffs are not static monuments. They are dynamic, fragile systems shaped by geology, ocean energy, and climate forces. What happened during this wave impact is part of a broader pattern scientists have been documenting with growing concern. From Big Sur to Southern California, cliff failures have increased in frequency. Roads buckle, homes inch closer to the edge, and entire sections of coastline retreat inland year by year. This latest incident stands out, not because it was the biggest wave ever recorded, but because it struck at the wrong place at the wrong time, on already weakened ground. What scientists are doing now, teams are deploying drones, ground penetrating radar, and satellite monitoring to track changes in the cliff face. Cracks are being mapped. Stress zones are being modeled. Tsunami evacuation routes are being reviewed. Authorities stress that there is no immediate tsunami, but they also emphasize that conditions along the coast are becoming increasingly unpredictable. This is how disasters begin, one expert said, quietly with cracks. A warning from the edge. As waves continue to pound the shoreline and weather systems grow more volatile, scientists warn that this event should not be dismissed as a one-time spectacle. It is a signal, a reminder that California's coast is under immense pressure from forces both visible and hidden beneath the surface. The ocean is watching the land, and the land may be preparing to move.